Hey, everybody. Welcome to Keeping It Neat Live on both Facebook and on YouTube tonight. We're trying something new here, everyone. So we're going to be right back with you in a second to talk about whiskey, quarantine, and your toilet paper situation. <laughs> Okay, I'm here, but Nick disappeared. There he is. He's back. I'm here. Now. What did you do? <laughs> what did you do? Send in the link. Oh, the link. my goodness. You know, if we, we had some technical difficulties before this, folks, which I sent Nick yeah. the link for this. It wasn't working. It, the email wasn't going through. I had to send it. Another, and the only way I can send the link for him to get into this is through email. So we had some problems. So we, we, we worked it all out, fortunately, at the last minute, literally five minutes to say. spare. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was so close. I was like, "Oh my gosh, this isn't going to happen tonight." <laughs> no, I know. I was I was, I was yeah. worried. I was worried. I was I was nervous about it. I was like, "Uh oh, we have problems already, yep. and we haven't even started." But but we're but, here, so that's all that matters. Yeah. And you're here with keeping it neat live. And mm -hmm. tonight we're going to be sipping a couple of different. We we cut it down a little bit. We're only doing three tonight because uh, we got some feedback, and everyone was saying that's, that was a little bit long for us folks. So <laughs> um, so we cut it back. So we figured three should bring it in as. Bring us in right about at an hour or so for the uh, segment here. And for whatever reason, I, I set up my timer and it's like overlapped and I, I, it's a mess over here. But there we go. Hey. That's all better. I got it fixed right. now. You know, <laughs> it's, it's, live <laughs> is tough. Dude. Day in the corner is yeah, my quarantine day 174. You know, I, well, actually, it's not one day. It feels like day 174 already. It's only been like two weeks. This is yeah. terrible, dude. I don't know how much longer I got in me. Oh, I'll tell you. Yeah, I know. I, I, I feel need to like. Go do I feel I like, need a, like prisoner. a restaurant outing. I know, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I need to leave my house. I, I you know, I, 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 I feel like a prisoner. You know, when I get to go to work and it's like my furlough program. Yes, I'm out. I'm free. And then I got, then I come back home. And then you know, but because it's just weird. You don't, you don't, you go out and it's like you know, you don't want to talk to anybody. You, you're every, everyone. You like you go to the grocery store. Everyone's six feet apart. No one's near you. You know, so everyone's like, I got yelled at the other day at the grocery store. The lady was like at the the register. She's like, you gotta step back, sir. You got to stay at least six tiles away. I said, I'm like 24 tiles. Do you know how to count? <laughs> <laughs> One, two, two. I mean, it's literally six three. tiles. So it's like a foot a tile. So it's six feet. Yeah. I was like, you know, I mean, yeah. you step behind the tape. I was like, oh boy. Okay. So, you know, social distancing, but unable to do math. So that's where I'm at. That's my that's luck. struggle. That's, that's my struggle. struggle. The struggle is real. The struggle my struggle is, is just being at home. That's it. I don't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't left. I haven't left. Oh, that's all right. So yeah. what we got tonight on uh, tap, well, or on bottle, really, for everyone tonight, we're going to be doing three different whiskeys. We have the Angel's Envy Tawny Port uh, cask finish. We have the Fuyu a Japanese small batch blended whiskey. And we have the Balvenie uh, Caribbean cask 14-year-old uh, rum that's cask exciting. finished. So Nick I'm is excited. really pumped about that one. Nick really likes it. He wants that 14-year-old. He's, he's looking forward to it, but that's on the tail end. We're going to make him wait for it That's because I'm I've, cruel and mean. Well, I've said, I mean, if anyone, you know, if you've been tuning into the show, we you've known for a couple weeks now that um, some of my, one, you know, a person that I know and ran into it has suggested that to me. One time I thought I was at a bar trying it, and the guy gave me the wrong one. And this has led up to this moment where I've been trying. I've, I've, this has been highly recommended to me. So I'm very excited to try this. Finally. Well, that's good. Yeah. You know, I mean, I know that you have, you know, and that you thought you were getting it, but you weren't. You, you ended up yeah. saying like, you got like the 12 year instead. I ended up getting the 12 year double year. Wood. And I knew right away. No, it was the 12 year uh, Sherry Port cask. And All I knew right. because you could immediately, I'm like sipping it. I'm like, this tastes like Sherry. Like there's so much Sherry. I expected this to be sweeter side. Like, and all this Ooh, stuff, and, sh and sure enough, like all of a sudden, I look up and I saw sh it, it right next to it, and it said the sherry cask, and I was like, "Great." Hmm. Well, <laughs> at least I, that's the one I paid for too. So at least that is. One <laughs> I paid that. for it for I paid, I paid for, for that one. one. Yeah, I paid for I'm one. not going to deal with this. I paid no. for. I'm living with it. Yeah. You know. I'm oh. accepting it. You're going to have to accept it, buddy. That's all you can do. So you want to get into this stuff? You want to get into the whiskeys right now, my friend? Sure. <laughs> All right, so here we go. So we're going to get into the Angel's Envy first. That's what we'll start with. So are you ready to whiskey, sir? Ready and able. Here we go. Bing. Bing. Ding. Yeah, I got it. that. Yeah, no, I got it off there, so pretty good. Ooh, so nice. So coming colors. right into this, yeah. Very nice on the darker complexion. Too. Oh, dude, it's 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 really dark. If you could see it, like when I had all these laid out together when I when I was pouring them for you for your samples, um, yeah. 
the uh, they you could tell this was the darkest one out of all of them. So I smell like some black cherry. Yes, a definitely lot of in black that. Cherry. Uh, a little bit Very of spice sweet. in there, like some cinnamon in the background, a little bit. Yeah, cinnamon. Yeah, but uh, not like not like all spice or the no, not the all spice. Like just, just the no. cinnamon spice. That's what I'm getting. Uh, a little bit of oak, um, honey. Yes, some honey it's it's super sweet and like again my the nemesis that I deal with yeah. all the time caramel vanilla somewhere in there. <laughs> Wait, you yeah, know? this one. Oh, I don't know vanilla maybe. So see, this is the first time we're trying the Facebook with the YouTube. So I got a comment here. It just says Facebook user. I don't know who it is, but he says hi guys. Hi Facebook. Oh, that's <laughs> Hello. you. Yeah, uh, yeah, it just says Facebook user. That's all it says, babe. Uh, <laughs> Bourbon yeah. babe in the back. Yeah, that's all it says. It just says Facebook user. Hi guys. That's that's so. Uh, that's weird. I, I again, you're like when we were doing it last time, it showed everyone's names when we were just doing the YouTube, but now we got the YouTube and the Facebook group going at the same time live. So we'll see how this works out. It's all, you know, trying all this out before we go big, you know, big pros. Yeah. So I, um, you know, oh, you sent one in the other way. I sent one on YouTube. Oh, she sent one on YouTube too. So we'll see when that we get that one in. It'll be back and forth, back and forth. Yeah. So it is. <laughs> Let's hop into it. Um, I it's very it's uh it's got a thickness to it. Do you notice that? It's, like it's it got some. It, ha mouth. it has a viscosity to it. It does. It it, it 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 it's a little it's a little thick. It's got some. The it's letter not for today like, is yeah, it's, v. <laughs> <laughs> The viscosity. The viscosity. <laughs> yeah, you know, I got that. The words verbiage. Yes. Uh no, hey, it was perfect. I was like very impressed. <laughs> Ooh, big that's... man, use big words. <laughs> big words. I use big words. <laughs> Uh, I'm getting like a fruit note in there too, but I think that's coming off because it's that tawny port. So you're getting that wine cask in there with it. So um, that's good. That's yummy. That's it's it's sweet though too. I'm, it's like a super. Maybe it's just I'm super hypersensitive. I just ate a little while ago, but see, I waited. I'm eating after this. I had a I had a, like a late lunch. Oh, uh, well, see, smart man. I didn't eat a late lunch. I didn't eat anything at all. I was just like snacking at, at like when I came home because after I left your house, after I dropped everything off. I was famished, so I was eating like famished. a just mm, 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 just eating little things here and there. And then, everything. Uh, <laughs> pretty much, that was the way it was. So, but um, yeah, the nose on this still, you know, I mean, I'm not getting much more out of it than that. You know, it's good. Like, there's the fruit, like you said. I think you said the black cherry in there. Yeah, um, we're getting that uh, slight bit of honey, a little bit of cinnamon, uh, getting um, some oak, the wood in there, and also like there's another fruit note in there too. Um, apple, up maybe, maybe apple. That might be. Might be apple, -a. but apple -a. dark. Apple -a. It's that stewed yeah. fruity kind of that, that deepness to it, and on and the palate. I mean, it's it's mid range, and actually, this one I think for the angels. Let me show the bottle. Um, it's actually up there for the proof, and the proof doesn't come off like that. It's actually no, but it does have a little bit of heat behind it. I keep one hundred and eleven point six. So it's one hundred and eleven point wow. six proof. This um, is very nice. This is a nice. It keeps your the back of your throat right here. It keeps so warm right now. Oh, that is that's a good. That's that is. A, it's like got that. a nice I'm, long finish. It it lasts all the way through. Coats the back of your tongue, like you said. But I'm not getting like that really that long burn that you get normally. You know, with high yeah. proofs like this. Well, as we always do, let's try a little H two O or. Oh, H2O. gonna try to open it up. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the the cover on that. Because last Ooh, time I was pouring in weight. a lot, though. That like, is, I'm, but... I'm trying the slightest amount of dribble in there. Because think about our droppers. If you use a cap's worth, that's a lot. Well, yeah, it, it really is. That's what, I actually filled up, you know, that middle ring. That's what I filled up with water in the in the very center. You were just at the studio. You forgot to grab the drops. <laughs> yeah, you know, I was there. I should have grabbed them. I should have reminded you. That was my fault. I didn't fault. think about it. Let's All right, see. So, it still smells fantastic. And you know what? You were saying that, I, I hate to say this, but would it be like a dark grape? Like a black grape? Here's why I say that, because if it's a port wine finish, then it would be the grapey side of well, things, too. But it, Well, it's a, the tawny port, so I don't know what a tawny port is. I'd have to, you know, oh. maybe we'll we'll see more in the notes, hopefully, if hopefully there's something deep. Because The notes for this, I did, you know, I got this when I was in Kentucky. Um, I bought this bottle. It was like a distillery exclusive so you have to get it at the distillery because there's not really a big release of these kind of similar to their cask edition that i got last year um so that let's try but 
Oh man. So yeah. So you kind of hit the uh, the nail. Yeah, the I kind with of all of the things you said about it. Truthfully. I don't think the the water really ha- didn't hurt it or help it at all. I mean, it didn't really open it up anymore. I'm really not getting any more out of it. The only thing I I, I think it's just enlightening the sweet the sweetness of it in the in the smell at least. Still on there, it's like getting those sweet notes, obviously. But again, I'm getting that dry oak on the tongue. Um, that fruit note is definitely is still in there. Yeah. Um, coming through the sweetness, still getting that cinnamon baking spice, maybe a slight bit in there because it's got a little bit more towards the pepper side. Sugary, getting, yeah, peppery. Yeah, it's that it's a little bit of that going on in there right now. So what I'm gonna do is we'll do like we do on the show for our regular. We'll write down our stuff, what we think is well, we know what it is, obviously. You can't really go anywhere else with it because yeah, I'll just use my mind powers and some mind powers from and the studio. Got it. All right. <laughs> nice i like it your mind power but uh, as far as like you know how you like to, if you want if h2o you think helps it i mean doesn't help it Mm-hmm. because we really can't write down our guesses because hey guess what we know what it is <laughs> yep and then we'll uh we'll give it our grading we'll give it our um what we think is as far as the H2O, H2 no on that one. So anyway, so you ready, buddy? Are you still writing? Because Nick uh-huh. likes to take see this is the this is the behind the scenes you don't see when I cut all this out of the video. Nick just staring at his board for like half an hour. Well, I was thinking about drawing a picture of you again. Oh, this time our pictures. To ah, <laughs> at a boy, you know. Uh, it's all right. So I so went. What are we doing first? I went just with the H2 no because I don't think it helped it at all. I don't think it hurt it, but I don't think it helped it. I didn't, there you go. No. However, oh, however, there's a however. Yes. I think that this is a great um a great one to have possibly during I don't know. I honestly thought like on a in a, in a summer, like by a poolside and like if it was on ice and the ice watered it down a little bit because of that. Okay. But I think keeping it a little on the chilled side and yep. then like it actually melting into just, you know, the water almost comes in a little bit of a base in there. Mm-hmm. I don't think it would hurt it. So I could I could play both cards just if you're ha- if I'm having it for the first time, you know, yeah. um in a day of dr- a night of drinking whatever it is, like then I want it just the way it is, just the way we mm-hmm. just did it, keeping it neat. Um what about for your score? For my score, actually, you know, let me do. Uh, or do you want to reveal the notes first? We can do the notes and then do our scores after the notes. You want to read off on those notes there, big boy, if you got them? Yeah, if I can find them. Oh, <laughs> so yeah. I actually, well, because I kept them all face down in in the right order, so I was oh, sure I grabbed you. the right pile. Because we actually next week on Wednesday have a show as well. We'll touch base a little bit. Yeah, on we'll talk. We'll talk to about that a little bit more um, but, as the show progresses about our next show next week, which will be on a Wednesday. Also, it'll be at eight eight o'clock. But we'll get so, into that one. Yes, sir. I'll start reading. Read for me. <laughs> read, read it. So like you said, it's a hundred, uh, one hundred and eleven proof, fifty-five point eight percent alcohol. It was aged ten years and ten months. The mash bill is assumed to be seventy-two percent corn, eighteen percent rye, and ten percent malted barley. Uh, the parent company for Angel's Envy, Bacardi. Fun Bacardi. fact. Tell fun fact, friends. folks. Tell everyone you know. Everyone you know. Uh, Tell everyone. Release, uh, they let's see. Ten months in the create to cre- ten months in the tawny port barrels to create a unique, uniquely complex, high proof whiskey. I could not say that. <laughs> um, tawny port was once considered to be the queen of port wines, and the mellow flavors of these tawny oak barrels perfectly complex this into the bourbon. Um, so. That's why they chose the symbol of the queen to commemorate our second rare and remarkable cellar collection release. The nose was dried fruit and oak, which we said both of those. Mm-hmm. Uh, the palate, black pepper, we said toasted nuts. Nuts. Well, we said, uh, okay, yeah, toasted nuts. And I wanted to say nuts, but I was like, eh, I don't know if I'm getting, because, you know, I'm like, sometimes I'm unsure about that one flavoring in there. Yeah, the next one gets me too is clove, and I the thought clove? I I thought I had that in the palate, and I was like, but it was weird because it wasn't there at first. I almost feel like it developed after it watered down a little bit. Mm-hmm. I don't know, um, or maybe vice versa. I don't even remember. But yep. uh, and then delicate cinnamon spice, which you said with a hint of dried apricot, which we yeah, said that, there was some sort of fruit yeah, in that there. fruit in there, that that little 
something orchard fruit, yeah. I guess you would call that. I'm not sure. I like the finish though. Oh, I forgot to guess the price and now I just saw it. Ah, darn it. Um, light and lingering uh, of dried fruit dipped in dark chocolate, which I could see the like that dark chocolate flavor hmm. on the back palate. I could see okay. that. I like that. It was good. Um, yeah, so what, what did you think the price was before you actually saw it? I mean, you must have had like a ballparking. Yeah, I would say somewhere between actually like 120. Like okay. I, I just was throwing that out there in my head. Yeah. Um, and the retail price by us is two hundred and sixty dollars. Yeah. So. Well, it's it's really it's really not by us. That was at in Kentucky. I just for whatever. Oh, that's that at the bottom of those. Yeah. Sorry, that's in Kentucky, folks. That's why I got it at, actually at the distillery. Um, so that price was two sixty at the distillery, and this is a limited release. It's one of their sellers collections. So it's like a once a year release they're going to do. So maybe it's going to be like like 16,000 bottles again, kind of similar to like the cask finished, uh, the cask strength one there that was only like 15 next month. So it's a re super limited release and it's really like a super limited market, maybe around Kentucky and definitely at the distillery. That's where I went. And I was like, I ran in, like it was like five minutes left for the place before it closed. And I ran in the door. I'm like, <sighs> I said, I'm looking for the Tawny port. She goes, you want to buy it? I said, yes. She just turned around. They already have it pre-bagged, ready to go out the door. They just what? grab a bag off the shelf behind them. It comes in the little gift bag, all wrapped with the tissue paper and everything. And they go, here you go. And they just, you know, they tell you what it is and out the door you go. It's wicked. Fat. They have it down to a science. That's they really awesome. do. They And it was like that when I went and I got the, uh, when I did the cask one too, the cask strength finish. Um, that one was the same way. They were like, oh, just grab it right here. They grab it, blam, put it in there. They had the, uh, you know, Wes Henderson was there. So he signed my bottle and everything for the cash strength one. So yep. he was, he's the, the owner and, uh, you know, chief distiller there, a uh, master distiller. Um, so he actually signed my bottle and everything. I got to talk to him for a little while when I was there the first time. Um, he wasn't there the second time. But a lot of times, I guess, I want to get down is get to Wild Turkey. Because down at Wild Turkey, a lot of times is uh, the master distiller is out over there. Um, so a lot of times you can go talk to him. He just sits out and like right out in the showroom and you can go speak oh, really? to him. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. That's, I mean, maybe, that's really cool. Maybe the boys should take a weekend. Uh, I would love to go down there. I mean, I really think you, I think you'd have a blast dude, because the, I mean, honestly, the tastings down there are ridiculous. Like you you have to like pace yourself because you go to every place and they're just like, some are free. Some of the tours are free. Some of them you have to pay a little bit, you know, 10, 20 bucks to, to do the tour through there. And then they have the taste. All of them have the tastings at the end. You yeah. know, that you get to get into the whiskey. So, all right. Um, so after we've done all the notes, what is your grading on this one, my friend? My grading on this one, which I, uh, <laughs> I actually just added to it, um, is a four, whoa, four and a half out of five. What? Jugs. Wow, dude. I know. Might be one of the top ones I've ever rated. I was considering four, and honestly, it kept growing on me. And I was thinking about the H2O, and I was like, the fact that it can still hold such a substantial flavor and still tasty to me is very impressive. So um, yep. I got to give it high praise. But mm -hmm. I right, yeah, I did have it at a four. Um, what about for you? For me, I came in and honestly, you know, I liked it. I liked it. It, it was just it's got a really good flavor to it. It's got a really nice finish. It's not overpowering. And I think you could, you know, you can just enjoy this one. And a lot of people can get into the, a wide range of folks. Um, even those that may be just starting out into the whiskey, I think would like this one. Cause just for the sweetness value of it, I mean, it's got that sweet palette to it that I think would attract a lot of people. Um, now, again, this is like a limited release. So I don't know if every, you know, they, they do blend it all together. And when they, when they're doing this, so they're trying to go for that uh, perfect, you know, finish for it all so i don't know if all the bottles will, will be similar because of such a wide range that they have to work with but i gave it a four myself i gave it a four wow. on this one i really liked it i thought yeah. it was good um i like that i mean i like angels envy anyway i like all their products they put out i think they do a good job of it um so this one is good i mean it really is it was yummy it was delicious um the other thing i wanted to show you too is actually i just noticed today when i was pouring on the uh the bottles out today on the bottom of the actual cork on the inside, it's a it's a real cork. I don't know if you can see it, but let me get it in the light. It actually has the little angel's envy wings on it. You might need to put it closer to the camera. Oh, yeah, there we go. So right Hold there, it. it's there got the go. little wow. angel's envy wings on the actual bottom of the cork, which I thought you was You fancy, cool. huh? I was like, wow, that's what cost me the extra 60 bucks for that bottle, I'm sure. You know, some little guy, they had to, they had to hire to put that on there, but... 
Yeah. I thought I was like, that's the first time I saw it. I had, now I have to check all my bottles to see if it's that way. You do so everything else. Yeah. Cause that's the way I am. But, um, but yeah, so th that was really good. I enjoyed that one. Yeah. That, was, that was yummy. Me too. And I also have. Oh, look at you breaking out the saltines in between. You got to cleanse the palate. You I do have to cleanse the palate. You do have to. Gonna, I was actually going to take them and like do them like this or something <laughs> and like try to pose, but they're squares. So they don't fit. Yeah, right, the squares don't fit. You can really get the circle ones. You, well, you could have done it with Ritz crackers. Oh, if you had Ritz, yeah. Ritz would have been good. I actually might have Ritz. Oh, maybe well, for next, maybe, day. you know, maybe for another you know, one. But Derek, the reason I laugh is because I'm <clears> supposed to, the next time we were supposed to meet to do a recording, I was going to bring water bottles and, um, and more of these. So Ooh. it's pretty funny that we actually have not been able to record since. And, uh, so you know what? I figured I'd save you the last sleeve. <laughs> You know, thank you so much. You're very kind. And that's the whole thing. We do have those at the studio, you know, in between when we're, you know, in between our take, because we do, we shoot like six episodes at a time, sometimes more. And in between yeah. that, you know, you try to break that, your palate up because it just, it's all, it, it gets to be too much sometimes, you know, all that whiskey. So oh, that, what a nice guy. See, he's taking the mic away while he's mashing down on a saltine right now for you. <laughs> Feeling okay. himself with the saltine. <laughs> All right, so did we have any comments or questions from either Facebook or YouTube so far about the first so one? So far, no. All right, so let's move into the second one. <laughs> Not even a hesitation. Not, Not even. No, hold on. I'm sending a message right now again live. Live's a little different than on screen, I've noticed, because I've I've been watching a lot more lives of other um, YouTube channels, and it's it's like more interactive. You have to you're interacting with the people that are uh, watching you. You know, you're trying to get to back to comments. You know, putting them up here when they do pop up. If you know when yeah. people do comment on stuff. So let me get this out. And send it out. There it is. So, um, yep. So I just sent a little message out to someone that's watching right now. Huh? You sent it out onto Facebook. I mean, if she's on Facebook, she's not on Facebook. Uh, well, I, I see. That's the problem is that I just send it out. I can't send it. I'd have to go to Facebook. Oh, sorry. Hi, Dakota. <laughs> I thought she wanted me to send a message. I just sent the message, like, you know, so it's up there. But hi, Dakota. Thanks for watching. She's a She's on she's on Facebook evidently, so I didn't know. Oh I, but I evidently God, I thought was... this would I thought this would translate to both of them. You know what I mean? I thought if I can't post comments to some destinations, learn more. Oh, uh, see, I have to learn more because you I'd have to click to on. Learn more. I need to learn more. Oh wait, hold on. There's an all button. Oh no, I can just post it to keeping it neat on the page. Look at that. See, I can bounce back and forth between them. You're learning while as I go, dude. Just, I know, you know. I'm I'm trying so much. I mean, this whole streamyard <laughs> thing, you know. I just got it, you know, and I just I just made it out so we can do our own branding. As you notice, I've got the little keeping it neat sign there with I our love logo it. I in love it. What you've done with it, and I've I'm also trying you know, to trying to catch up on videos more recently. Once and even those doing some good editing there. No, oh, it won't let me. I can't. I can't actually um, do it on Facebook. Yeah, I so thought you said you commented today about the uh, flashback five one with the. <laughs> Loved with, that with us holding it the right holding way. the bottles. Yeah, the uh, the awesome. thumbnail I had for that it. Was I was great. like, I can't believe like, what can I do that. with this? I was like, yeah, let's just do this. And Nick's holding yeah. the whole bottle up above his head. Yeah, you know, it was like perfect. It's, so we did that. Yeah. So which one do you want to get into next, buddy? Um, it's up to you. That'll, you know what? I'm interested in that that fuyu. I just want to try the Japanese fuyu? the fuyu. So let's get into let's the fuyu it. on this one. The we'll do the fuyu. fuyu. <laughs> we'll let that go. I poured mine a while ago, so it's had some chance to. Air out. Oh, he's pouring his right now. I just heard it. Mm. Mm. On mic, right there folks. for the mic. Mike, I know. I heard it. For all the people. Shh, for all the peeps. Hey. Oh. I didn't realize I got to lower this. Oh, bit. boy. Here we go. We got uh, Jay's here. Hey, Jay. What's up, man? He's uh, He might be in and out. He's ha he's taking care of his little guy, taking care of oh. Max today. So, I thanks, Jay. That, thanks for tuning in. That's always important. Friend. That is well, you know, yeah, you might want to keep track of them, you know. Yes. They, they, yeah. they can get away from you sometimes. You don't want to be yeah, sitting there. Be careful. Like, hey, wait a minute, where's my kid? <laughs> no, mm, I think I had a child. I did at one point, but you know what? These guys are so good. I just want to stay here with them. Yeah. But, all right. So you ready to whiskey? Let's get into this, buddy. Ready, name. All right. <laughs> 
<laughs> just smash just, the glass. Just down, like, that would be great. Down the screen. Amazing. I would have lost it, much man. Force, Derek. Slow down, big guy. Oh, I was like about to go in for a sip. I'm like, oh, wait, I got to do the nose. <laughs> hmm. Very you know, light. It's like it's <sighs> more of a caramel color to it. Appearance. Yeah, it, it is more of a caramel color. It's definitely lighter than the uh, the tawny port. The angel smells Zenders. sweet. It smells very sweet, and it's not like a lot of these come on. And this is a blended. I know that because I just did the notes today, so it's not like it's a blind review. Um, this is a blended whiskey, so they do it with grain whiskey and malt whiskeys. So it's like you you are on that sweeter end of with the grain whiskeys that could be with the corn and all that kind of stuff. You know, the regular blends that you normally get. So you could get the, the corn with the rye, with the barley, or uh, then you could get the malt. Obviously, it's just the malted barley that they're using. But I'm getting like a vanilla uh, toffee-ish smell. It's very candy-like. Mm. The, the nose is very light. It's got a super light nose. It's awesome. It's I'm got, ready to it try it whenever you are. Fruit. There's like a fruit note in there too. Okay, I'm going in. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Very light, dude. Super light. It's like there and gone. Yeah, even like to the point that the flavor is like it's so strong on your palate at first, and you're like, "Wow, this is delightful," and then it's just like, "See you later." Mm -hmm. <laughs> What happened to you? Where'd you go? Yeah, it's fast. It's fleeting. Is it, if it, it's like in and out, dude. It's like gone. I like it though. Like it's I, super I light. Do. It's like it's not complex at all. There's not. A, I mean, I'm having trouble on the palate picking anything out of it. It's so light. Dried fruits for sure. There's a spice in there. I can't figure out. It's not cinnamon. It's not clove. There's Maybe. Like I mean, it might be like that. Uh, what is it like that? Like that herb? No, well, maybe herbal. It could be an herbaly note too. But um, I'm thinking more like along like that grassy notes, those grassy tones that we get some grass. Yes, grass. Yeah. Um, honey. There's like a light honey I'm getting out of it. Yeah, dude, and the nose is so light, man. It really is. There's not. I like. It's not I like very this. heavy. Hmm. I'm almost afraid to put water in this one. That's what I, mean, I was thinking, but for the last super, sip, I have to. I'm going to go super light on the water with this as well, as light as I can anyway. It's going to bother me when we read the notes because is it is it nuts? Is it like a nuttiness? Yeah, dude, it, if it's a nuttiness, it's so light, it's really hard to pick out in this one. It's like a candy apple-ish. It's like a... Okay. Um, Maybe like... Well, yeah, like the candy apple flavor. In 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 the in the palate, not in the nose. Water did nothing. Nope. Killed any sort of burn. You don't even know. That's that tasted like it was sitting out for like three hours, and I was like, "Oh, that's right. I left that drink in the other room." Drink, man. You got the drink going on, bro. All right. Well, here's what I'm going to do. I'll read the front page. You'll read right. the second page because okay. uh, uh, you're still sipping away. And then, uh, you, well, the second page, I think, actually, luckily it's, for this. Here's the whole thing I'm going to tell you. It's, it's going to be really small because, dude, I looked everywhere. And I've had this I had this problem the last time when I was doing a Japanese whiskey. Here's the thing. If anybody's done reviews on Japanese whiskeys, can you please put in the comments and let me know where you get information from? Because I was looking for like an hour and I couldn't find anything. The only stuff I was getting was off everybody else's like bourbon uh, pages and whatnot that do reviews. And even they were saying like they have, they, it's hard to find anything, any kind of information wise. And on this one, there was like nothing. I had really hard time. So if you do know where to look, put it down below and, you know, help me out. I mean, I know like the, the, the pages you can go to, um, you know, of the different like ty types of chat pages and whatnot that to look stuff up, but there was no information on this whatsoever, but go ahead, Nick. Tear into it. Sure. So, Fuyu Small Batch, blended Japanese whiskey, 80 proof, 40% alcohol, which, yes, definitely. It was very light. Oh, we didn't guess. <laughs> or say if we wanted H2O or H2O. Uh, all right. Well, the H2O, I'm going to go with no. Do not put H2O in it because it definitely didn't Definitely don't. But I got to write my score down. I will write my score. I'm, I'll give it my score right now. I'll write that down so we can um, review it after. 
Yeah. Uh, okay. <clears throat> so this cool. Japanese whiskey was made with malts and grains from distilleries on Japan's Honshu Island. Grain whiskey normal. Yeah, we already know about the grain whiskey part. If not, go tune into one of our past episodes where Derek explains it. The appearance is a dark amber. Yep. Floral. Oh, dark amber? Mm, maybe. Uh, I, I think it's lighter than that. It looks a little. I would say the other one, you know, the Angel's Envy was a darker amber than yeah, this. Yeah, look at this. That's light. You can see my eyes. Look. Ooh, look at that. Wow. Look at you through there. Uh, so. Yeah, so dark. I don't agree with that one, but the nose, floral and youthful aromas with caramel and spicy notes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, palette, generous oak and cooked fruit, finished with a hint of smokiness. Okay. See, I'm not getting. I don't any, see the smoke. I, I'm though. not getting any smoke in there at all, and you know, I'm no. I'm really digging deep for the smoke. So the cooked fruit, though, yeah, hundred percent. Because I was like, it's fruit, but I don't know how to express it, and I could see like. Cooked, the fruit, cooked fruit, maybe, like, like a stewed fruit, like that cooked over yeah. there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or the fruit after like an apple cider, it's all like soggy and gross. Um, <laughs> Perfect description. Please enjoy Fuyu. That should be on the commercial. I hope that is. That That's be the great. best marketing I can do. No, it's delicious. It is delicious. Again, um, we want to thank our sponsor, Fuyu. <laughs> Thank you so uh, much. Thank you so we much. appreciate you all that you yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that would be our luck too. It'd be someone like the them that would like yeah, sponsor you know, I'm looking us. For, like, uh, you know, they really want to throw money at. Uh, not them. Oh uh, boy, they can't get anything right. Oh, so well. I gotta guess the price. I'm gonna guess for this bottle, eighty nine ninety nine. Ooh. Well, all right. You guess. I don't think it's that, but I'll see. When I turn this page, or you turn the page, or you uh, I the, turn the page. I, I know right, what, what it is. is. It? Forty-five ninety-nine. Yeah, yeah, that's all it was. It was. That's a steal. It is actually a steal. I mean, but for the thing this? is, like, for, for what you're getting out of it, yeah, it's not bad at all. I think it could be a little bit less, but um, I think there's some import taxes on it now that have kind of driven the price up a little bit. Probably like five bucks a bottle. So maybe like a month ago, it would have been in at like forty dollars a bottle. But right now, when I bought it, it was forty five bucks. I think because the, all the import and the tax levies and everything that we Im imposed on scotches and uh, Japanese whiskeys and whatnot, it all increased. So it went up like five bucks a bottle for almost everything. Okay, so what did you give this one? I gave this one a three, sir. I went with a middle road. I went with a three. I thought it was pretty good. I liked it. Um, it's not overly complex, so if you're looking for that, you're not going to get it out of this one. Um, I, I just think it's just mid-range. It's middle of the road, and I think that really you can drink it, and it you won't be – Definitely won't hurt you. Like the alcohol is nothing on this. What is it? 80 proof. So it's only 40% alcohol. So it's really, and it's not, you're not even getting a burn. The finish, you know, it's a very light finish. So that's where I gave it a three. <clears throat> Four. Four. Oh my God. I, Dude. I, I know. I actually, wow. it's, it's <laughs> I'm taking everything you're going to say and I'm going to turn it into a positive and make it a four. <laughs> So pretty much, like, I loved that it was light. I loved that it was easy sipping. I loved that the floral notes and the fruitiness was there. And it's that Japanese, like, Japanese its own entity. And I actually think that this is easily one of the best bottles we've tried out of the Japanese, which, like, I'm saying outside of the show, too. Like, for me, yep. I really love this. The price is right there, too. That wows me. That mm -hmm. that's really what sealed the four for me. Um, and uh, but I mean, I guess I really had already wrote a four anyways before I knew the price. But it was just like I I can't say enough about it. I really did enjoy this one. So yeah, four out of five chug jokes for me right, on this well, one. You know, I mean, like everyone has their own different palate and what they like. I mean, this one is super light. It really is. It's it's very easy drinking. Um, and I it will you know I think a lot of people would like it just for that. You know, I mean, the Japanese whiskeys, that's a whole, you know, for me, it's new. I, I haven't really tried a lot of Japanese. I think me and you have tried about almost about the same amount of Japanese, more than likely. Um, you know, the, the couple we've done on the show so far and the one we tried out when we went out to uh, the casino that night. When we yeah. shot our little uh, Facebook Live that night when you did that. That one. was a lot of fun. 
Casino great. night was a lot of fun. That needs to be like a yearly like tradition now. I think. Casino night. Casino night was great. We did the show and everything like that. Yeah, that was nice. But good way uh, to celebrate Christmas. But it was a great way. It was. It really was. So moving on. Moving. Right on. So, oh, so we're gonna get into some other stuff, you know, because we're kind of just spread out, you know, because we're plowing through our whiskeys right now. The last time we didn't do this tonight, we're plowing through them like, you know, madmen here. So we got to go slow and ease into it a little bit. We got to discuss some stuff, my friend. We got to talk. So next Wednesday, we are going to be doing a another YouTube live and Facebook live for our group also. Uh, we're going to be having a special guest. We have Bourbon Bounty is going to be on there. Um, we're going to be doing that with him. Um, he jumped right on it and, you know, he wanted us to, the night that we did our last live. He was like, oh, definitely we got to do this. And now that I figured all this stuff out here. Um, so, you know, he's on board with it. We already have the three whiskeys that we are going to do with him. So it should be interesting to see what the uh, the panel looks like because I haven't seen it. You know, we've done it with two people. I'd have to invite in a third person, but, uh, you know, to see what it's going to look like with three of us on screen at the same time, um, you know, to give everybody, I don't know how it uh, evens it out. So we'll see what happens. Um, but I know that, you know, I've talked to Jay from Bourbon and a Baby um, also, you know, briefly in a couple of messages. I want to do a live with him too. You know, I mean, with all this going on, it's just a matter of getting in contact with everyone. And so Jay, I'll be in contact with you shortly also, hopefully um, send you an email, you know, maybe in the next couple of weeks, if uh, you're available, like on a Wednesday night or something because that seems to be the night that'll work out best more than likely for everyone um just to do a live you know we can pick out maybe something that you have at your place already and that we have here or something i can get so that we're at least sipping on the same stuff rather than having the ships you know because that was the other thing too with uh bourbon bounty was um when i talked to him i was like you know i really don't want to send stuff back and forth right now with all the quarantine and everything like that so whatever we have in our repertoire of, you know, whiskeys is what we're going to have to go off of. But so that's where I'm at right now, you know, so I'll reach out to Jay shortly, like, you know, later on and talk to him, um, send him an email, a message and uh, my number and whatnot and talk to him directly and do the same thing because this whole stream, yeah, thing works seems to be working out well, except for the email part of it, where that wasn't working. So <laughs> originally, but we got Nick on tonight. That's all that matters. Yeah. Uh, Nick Nick gives out a four. This is social distancing affecting his judging. That's what that's what Nick <laughs> Nick gives out a four. See, this is it. He's all this social distancing has affected his you know his hard line of his solid twos and two and a halves which <laughs> seen for the I'm last not, you know seven months already on our show. I'm gonna counter that and just say that I actually I think it's not that. I think it's actually made me more in tune with things and that. We've just luckily been trying good bottles. Like, just well, that does. Always, I mean, that, stuff. I mean, really. And uh, someone commented. Um, like it was actually Jay. It was actually Jay, Jay from <laughs> Bourbon and a Baby commented on one of our, uh, our last show, the Flashback Five. Said, "Yeah, oh, it's great to see that you guys, you know, picked out all the same ones. You know, that was our second episode that we picked out." all five whiskeys we actually in the, in yeah. the order that we liked them. So I said, yeah, it happens sometimes, you know, occasionally that we actually, our palates are similar in that, you know, on that night that we just line them up that way. Most nights it's not even like that. We're crossing each other over and I like that one. Yeah. I'm over here. And you know, yep. but the last two flashback fives we've picked out identical, which is crazy. Yeah. I know, which is, it's awesome. It's been a lot of fun. It's like, ooh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know who is, See again, Facebook user. I'd have to go on Facebook. I don't know. I'll have to. I'll have to ask Bourbon Babe who's the Facebooker. Baron. Oh, Baron. Baron on Facebook. Oh, Baron Pew and the logo in the corner. That's right, Baron. We got all our marketing stuff up here, up in the corner. I said that. I commented to Baron. Oh. Legit with all the scrolls, that's for Baron. Oh, gotcha. See, <laughs> live, you know. So yeah, so we've got our branding, our own branding up here now. We're you gonna know. need like another headphone that has like Becca in it. Like, oh yeah, I know. I need, I, need, I, need, I need like, <laughs> I need like one just for you, one for Becca. Say, all right, someone just yeah. comment. You need to put them on. Derek. So I can click on it and show. You know, Derek, so. we need you to open your eyes. Uh, uh, Derek. I, Derek, yeah, Derek, open your. Because here's the thing, folks, and I've never. You actually notice all your flaws. Um, when you're on video. So for whatever reason, I've noticed this and I've, we've totally scrapped whole episodes that we've taped because I do the whole episode like this, for whatever reason, my eyes are closed and I'm talking cause I'm thinking about something. And for whatever reason, I can't think and have my eyes open at the same time, which is a problem. Yeah. 
It's, it's right. not we're, we'll it's get I'm just it. sleeping or that you know everything I'm it's so I'm so disinterested that I just want to take a nap right now. Yeah. But it's just my eyes closed and it's just like it's it's something that I have to consciously work at to go like I'm gonna be staring at you the whole time. Steve, I'm all in. <laughs> creepy oh, eyes, you know, creepy eyes. Yeah, seriously, but, creepy you know, eyes. Eyes, <laughs> you know, so. Just trying stuff like that, you know, but that things that you notice more when you're on video all the time, like, like, oh, why am I slouching so much? Oh, got to make sure I, I pull up yeah, my yeah, shirt. Yeah, nope. Got to blouse my shirt more. Yeah. Crack <laughs> the neck. Sit up straight. Do all some right. curls. Get rid of that extra large shirt. Go for the double <laughs> next time. Going to just give that to the kids. Uh, <laughs> pass it down. Pass it down to the daughter. She'll wear it for a night shirt because daddy's going to get a bigger one. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. That's that. Like when you see yourself, I guess you're just more critical because I'm more critical yeah. of myself every time. No, I'm like, I, oh. I am. Like sit up straight. Look at you. Why are you hunched yeah. over like that? Look terrible. I hate it. I hate. Like I'll be like, oh, you sound weird. Like I get wicked critical of myself. I do. I do. I. It's really bad. I get wicked critical of myself, and it's yeah. like, oh, why am I doing that? And I can't. I can't help it. You know, but. Uh, so, so this is another week since the last time we shot our episode, um, my last live. And has anything? Did you do anything exciting, Nick? I mean, have you done anything that's noteworthy? Um, Quarantine no. day, one hundred seventy-four. No, I mean, I've been, I've been trying to uh, update my. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, just want to interrupt. Oh. You. Uh, Google Voice says I can get a free number just by saying it. So I don't know why oh. I'm, I'm a Facebook. My Facebook user just jumped in on that. Well, I want one. Baron says you just need a dial-in number now to talk to your fans. A dial-in number, oh yes. yeah. Somebody can dial in, you can talk to your fans. Oh, a dial-in number. Yeah, I could put my number out here. Just get all kind of crazy, <laughs> creepy, <laughs> heavy. He's telling you Google Voice. Oh, Google Voice. That's see, I can't tell who it is. I said it's like Google Voice did it. I don't. I'm sorry. You're telling me over there. See, this is the whole problem with live. I need. I'm gonna have to get my my radio set from down cellar, and I'll have one mic in one ear, and Beck can talk to me. In the other. Seriously, it's like. <laughs> huh? Why did you just have your phone on? Facebook? I'll have to do that. I'll have to put my phone on Facebook because this is. Oh my god! Like, yeah, this is tough. This is tough. See, this is a lot. This is like NASA right now, I'm trying to get I, all. I feel. Going. I feel for you, man. I feel for you. But yes. Uh, no. I to answer your question. No, I have not done anything um actually we fixed this room this back room um and just reorganized and made it a little bit nicer i'm gonna try to uh, right here i'm actually gonna flip the camera for you oh boy and, uh, this is where my i'm hoping to put a little little tv up there at some right. point and you know i got the tv i just gotta get the wall mount so no well, there i kind of made like my own little den uh -huh. and, uh yep well, and then good. uh kind of also my own little studio while we're in quarantine <laughs> um, and then that's it, really. I mean, I've been doing some some side job things and um, making ends meet. <laughs> making, making ends that meet. Sounds, that sounds that sounds like I'm up to like no good at all. I know, just trying to make ends meet any way I just can. Trying to, just trying to do anything I can. To make ends meet. <laughs> oh, I like it. Ends you know meet. what? You gotta you gotta do what you gotta do, buddy. You gotta you, yeah. you know you're trying to do that. But yeah, that's. It's tough right now with everyone. I mean, it's yeah. It, it's just tough to find. You know, I mean, there's a thousand projects you can do. It's oh just, yeah, every day I'm doing something. Yes, yeah, you can. You know, I mean, so it, it, it's easy enough to find stuff. So you ready to get into our last whiskey, sir? Let's get in. We'll get into the Belvini over here. Very excited. Are you very anticipated? Are you? All right, he's anticipated. He's he's anticipating this. Oh, okay, let's see. All right. Very anticipated. Are you? Ready to whiskey. Ready and able. There it is. All right. Ding. Here we Ding. go. I see you got the recliner this week. That's nice. That's what I'm saying. I, I made my studio comfy. Totally different. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is not what I had that night. Not even close. You know, I, I, I wanted to say I got it, but I don't know if I'm right. I wanted to, my my first sniff was like a butterscotch. Yeah. You know what's interesting about hearing Caribbean cask? It's it smells like You want a pirate, don't you? Yeah. You want a, like you want, a pirate. Pirate. Oh, you want Johnny Depp to come running across right yes. now. Yes. I literally feel like you're in like <laughs> like a scene in the Bahamas where for for some reason Jack Sparrow's there and, and like you're like sitting by the Caribbean. You've got like your lady's got a pina colada, you've got this, and you're just like all those smells are just happening near the water, and you yeah. see him running by, and you're like, "Oh, 
Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, that's exactly what this is. <laughs> and that should be their advertising. All right, you get a little bit of smoke, not a lot, a light, light smoke in there. Very light smoke. Get a little fruit, a little nuttiness. Yeah, there is there is a nuttiness in there. That that definitely get a nuttiness out of this one. And I think it's like caramelly. Yeah, there's a but little again, caramel, caramel. But again, it could. I don't know if it's caramel or toffee though, because see, I know that that line when it comes into this realm can be like that. Um. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna go in and try it. Yeah, me too. Hmm. Well, that's good. It's, ex it's exactly what I picture in every pirate's like flask ever. <laughs> like ever. Like this is what I honestly picture it to be. I it's think exactly most pirates I drink just straight rum. I think that's. Oh what yeah, I know. Doing, but yeah, but I the, would like the good pirates. The good pirates were swigging on some sweet scotch. Yep. Some the Calvin Calvin fourteen finish, year. Calvin fourteen year. Yep. It's nice. It really is. Got a, it's got a really nice nose. It's like a, like a slight flow uh, to me. I'm getting like a little bit of floral. I got initial that butterscotch, which I don't know if that would be right or wrong on it. We'll see in a little while. Um, definitely like a fruit note in there. It's very toffee and nutty. Uh, it, it, like that, the nuttiness is in there. Light wood, not it's it's really mm -hmm. slight in the back with a little bit of tobacco. Yes. Wow. Look at you. Yeah, tobacco, hmm. very. Hmm. This is delicious. This is a We're good three one. for three tonight. <laughs> I'm in a good place. Thank you. you. Are, I know, right? This is uh, three good ones. You know, I wish we, you know, every time we did our blinds, it could be like this, but. Seriously. The thing is, is too, is like, it's so hard banana? right now. Banana? A banana? Yeah, you think getting that? Well, I mean, you wouldn't be wrong if you got that. I mean, you, oh. you get it. Oh, you guys, you're gonna say I'm wrong? <laughs> you got something to say? I'm saying there is no wrong answer when you when you're yeah, when you're say it to my face. You know, say it. Say it. Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> you're not wrong, Nick. You're never yeah, wrong. Yeah, I think it's like a hint of banana. That's why I'm. I was thinking pina colada. Like it's that. Oh, really? Wow. Oh, you're going. You're just going super tropical, huh? You're like. I'm feeling it. This wow. that's exactly what I'm saying. Like this is what I need like when I'm on my tropical honeymoon in a couple of years. Like this is what I need. This is great. I'm I guarantee you, dude, this one's gonna have some crazy fruit in it that I, I wouldn't even think that I don't even know about. See, we're saying melon. that we're saying there's a fruit. No, not even a melon. Like, I'm just I was saying so fruit note in there, but it's gonna be like when you could say melon, I could say like apple, and it's gonna be some ridiculous fruit we've never even heard of. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. I you know, I forgot what one it was we tried, and it was like, what the heck is that? I don't even know what that one is, but I guarantee right. you this one could be that. Try your H two O. Oh, Jay. I don't want to. He says he really likes the Belvin. He the one of the few scotches he really enjoys. Oh, yeah, enjoy it, Jay. Jay, I'm enjoying the Belvin. Definitely the fourteen year. If you're a fan of it, if you haven't tried it, give it a whirl. So good. Because I was going to say, the Sherry Port was like, okay, but I didn't love it. Like, I I really like this one. Uh, John Baptiste says, stay thirsty. I will stay thirsty. I'm always thirsty, Jay. That's uh, that's uh, Michaela's papa. Yes. Oh, is it? Thirsty. Oh. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Yep. Yeah, he just, he just commented right now on our uh, Facebook group. This is amazing. Like, I need to get this. This is great. Well, it's it's readily available. It's they sell it at most liquor stores, Nick. So please oh. break. And when, and oh. when you're out and about, and you're I gotta go. <laughs> you know, when you're looking for your alcohol for quarantine, make sure you go. You know, and but weird enough, like you you can find them, but it's you may have like some may not carry this one. They may have like the double wood or one of the. I know old, that's the know, problem. That problem was like they may not have the fourteen year, so you may have to look for them. Because I was gonna say, I don't think the twelve years like. It doesn't showcase as well as this one. I've had that double oak. I've had the port one. This one, this is great. Oh, so Paul Lavelli says, oh, oh, nice. Thanks, Paul. Uh, he says the fruit is honeydew. He said Ooh. He has to follow along with us. So he's saying honeydew melon. And you said melon, didn't you? And I said melon. Interesting. Thank you, Paul. 
Well, Paul will be a guest on the next. <laughs> yeah, you know, he's already been one of our guests. He came in the big, the big editions that we had there at the uh, beginning of the year with our unicorn editions. You know, Paul was mm. on there. We wanted to. I, I'm getting more savvy now, Paul. I can do a lot more. So next time, you know, if you come on, you may be riding bareback on the back of that unicorn next time. Or on the back of the bear cat. <laughs> oh, the back of the bear cat. There you go. Yes. You can definitely. I'll send you half of that bottle if you want it any day. Dude, actually, he totally he has, has to, to be some, He actually said there's going to be some way to save it, maybe in a mixed drink or something like that. I was like, no. uh. <laughs> Nick says no. He said an old fashioned, which that would probably come through with the old fashioned. You know what I mean? Because you, but I don't. I don't think you'd have to put no. bitters or anything else. No, but that's the thing. But here's the problem with that is that, like, no, I don't because it's the same thing, and it's not. It's more like just bitters. There's not enough bourbon in there, so no, we're not getting on that right now. <laughs> We're not getting it. All right. So You'll back, put me in a bad place when I'm in a uh, place. So, well, back to the Belvini anyway. So going around with this one again. The nose going is going around. Mine's water. gone. What the heck, dude? I already did my water? Jeez. I think I'm being... I haven't put any I water in yet. Sheesh. Wow. Man, this guy is way ahead. Well, we were analyzing. <laughs> Baron, Baron says that there should be flashcards with the names of each whiskey or bourbon or show the bottle. Oh, thank you. That's a good idea, Baron. I started doing that and I keep forgetting. So, uh, guess here I got to, oh, okay, we got to turn it. This is the Belvini. <laughs> there we go. And it's like so weird because, well, it's weird because it's all backwards to me. You know, know. what I mean? So, this is the Belvini Caribbean cask, 14 year. And actually, the bottle for the one we did before, the Fuyu, uh, the Japanese whiskey, is the one we did previously. Um, just before this one is actually got a very nice bottle. It's got a very nice artwork on it and whatnot. But here's the whole thing. A lot of times bottles will lure you in with the beautiful designs on them and whatnot, which I've been sucked into before and they end up being terrible whiskeys. But tonight everything is delicious. Everything is very delicious. Yes, it is. Oh man. So uh what do you I can't even Nick this this one I'm, I'm writing. Not, Nick is writing right now and I, I'm almost guessing what this one's gonna be right now. Here's my I'm gonna give you my grade and then I'm gonna give you an under I'm gonna put Nick's. Let's go with mine. Go. Eleven in the land under. <coughs> That's terrible. Man. So should I go for Nicholas? Oh no, you have to review. <laughs> okay, that's mine. Dan, do you think the water helped it at all? I know that you you've already no. drank all yours, so no, no, it uh it it watered it down a little bit. I mean, I would actually like to try this over one of those uh, sphere <laughs> balls. Oh. Becca saw it. Oh, and she's <laughs> sipping it. Yay. Yeah, she's sipping it. She came in to steal the steal it from me. Becca definitely saw something that I just told everyone to be quiet about that you your head was turned so you didn't see it. And that's why oh, she really did. came over. Oh, um, was that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Beck, did you see what I just showed the whole Oh, I thought that's what it was. No, I thought she just you came in here to steal whiskey. Yeah. Classic. She just came in here to steal whiskey. That's but yeah, no, I don't think the H2O does anything for it, truthfully. Uh, I think it waters it down, but I'd like it on like a nice ball of ice. I would like that. Yeah, this is the or like actually in my fridge right now, which I'll do after this, is I'm going to put the little bit I have left in a glass I got as a Christmas gift. And it's like oh. half you freeze half of it into ice. With like this, like little oh, like, that, rubber thing. That, that's yeah, painted one. Oh, dude, I've seen those. I, I'm gonna I mean, do that. things work out because maybe um, that may be on a Christmas gift for the one you love next year. Ooh, oh. <laughs> for the one you love. <laughs> I should have a jingle. We should make a jingle. Um. So I'm sorry. Now, what did you say about the water? You liked it or didn't like it? Uh, I just don't think it did anything for it. it didn't it didn't kill it, but it didn't it didn't do anything great for it. It was just like a whatever. Again, kind of like the last one. Like it was just like, oh, I left my drink in the other room for an hour and I came back. Ah, uh, you got it. All right. You know, um, this one is really good. I like this one. Um, as in, but this is right in my range of the scotches I normally like. I like this light, fruitier, you know, that yeah. those heavy dark. Same. And just to let everyone know, I, I sent Nick a ton of pictures of like what I had available for tonight's show. And other pictures, but it, yes, and other pictures, <laughs> but we can't talk about that's for another show. That's that's my other channel I do. And if you want, you it's pay per view. <laughs> it's eight 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 two. Yes, six nine eight 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 six two. Oh, oh my dad god. bod, 
That's <laughs> <laughs> oh god yes and off the tracks uh, we go kids <laughs> off the tracks so um <laughs> i forgot Ooh. i totally lost track. <laughs> <laughs> he got lost in his own website uh, i lost my own website that i, I could maybe i could make money with that the photos the photos she sent uh, me of all the, the photos so i sent the photos i said you know pick out what you want from all these scotches and the, all the whiskeys that i had so he picks out we just did the Lagavulin not that long ago, nine years. He picks out the oh, Lagavulin yes. sixteen I know. year. So yeah. the Lagavulin, he literally said, "I it was like me. I, it was like I was licking an ashtray." So I, I sent back to him. I said, "Dude, I said, do you really want to do the Lagavulin?" He goes, he "Goes why?" I go, "That's the one you hated the last time." He said, "That's that super smoky Isla. It's one of those Islas that you're not gonna, you know, if you don't enjoy them, um, you're not gonna get it. You know, you're not gonna like oh, but, it at all." So he goes, "Oh no, 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 let's change that up." So we end up we switched it. and We went with the Japanese. Yeah, um, that's the one which that was a great choice. That was a great choice. You know, good thing I caught. I was like, you know, should I just throw it in there? I said, you know, he's gonna hate it. There's no point to do it. You know what I mean? It's you're not gonna enjoy the other one. Yeah. So, um, all right. So let me show here. I went with H two no. Okay. For my as far as the H two, I don't think it really helped. It didn't hurt it. It just Eh, it just did nothing for me as, as to open it up or do anything. Now, for my score, let me see if I can get it in there. 4.25. Now, what I think, I will show you what after Nick shows his, what I think Nick is going with. So that's my 4.25. And Nick, what did you think? I don't even know where mine is. <laughs> oh, 4.75. Oh, you went five out of five. Huh? I went no, 4. no, no, no. Oh, my gosh. It's a race. Hilarious. It's oh, 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 I thought I couldn't see that originally because it was like off screen. So I said, oh, you went a five out of five? No, I went 4.75. I thought Nick was going to give this one. So I also think it, it is the last one out of these. So I, in order to give it a 4.75, I need to try it on an empty pallet. Like, oh, has, all right. has had nothing. Well, I don't know if maybe you built it up because you really wanted to try this one for a while. So you're really excited about it. I know. I know that and you know, like, well, like the, the Balvanis that you've tried, you've, you have liked them. You didn't not like them. You know what I mean? Yeah. You just, it wasn't the one that you wanted when you went. So you thought you were getting it and yes. you weren't. And it's exactly what I want it to be. It's actually a lot tastier and I wasn't expecting it to taste the way it did. So I'm like, Ooh, it's like, it's a, it's a more pleasant surprise in a good way. Yep. Um, but yeah, I don't, um, I don't know. I, you're right. I did. I was very excited for it. It just, it has everything in a scotch that I am enjoying and that I do look for in that sweeter side. And I, you can't go wrong with it. I, re, I really did like this one. So, yep. um, right. well, I, let's I would like to try it on a different, a different day to really see. Well, it could always come like back. We may, we may find it, and when we start taping again, whenever we can do for that, our blinds, yeah. yeah, for our blind, it could, could could come back blind for us. But I'm going to read off on the notes and see what we get out of this one. Okay. So this is the Balvenie 14 year Caribbean cask. This is a space side single malt Scotch whiskey. Um, it is 86 proof. It's got it 43% alcohol aged 14 years. Um, the mash bill is 100% malted barley. Uh, distillery is Balvenie. The parent company is William Grant and Sons. Uh, the Balvenie Caribbean cask 14 year old single malt whiskey has been matured in traditional oak whiskey casks for 14 years and then finished in casks that previously held Caribbean rum. To create the ideal finish, a malt master, David C. Stewart, MBE, Filled the American oak casks with his own blend of Celeste of select West Indian rums. When he judged the casks were ready, the rum was replaced with the 14-year-old spirit, and the wood was put to work adding the final touches to the whiskey. The result is an exceptional single malt whiskey with the traditional smooth honeyed character of the Balvenie, married with the notes of toff toffee and a hint of fruit with a warm, lingering finish. Um, David Stewart, MBE, Balvenies, is one of the industry's most experienced experts and began working with the William Grant and Sons in 1962. He is perhaps most famous for being the first to create the process that would later be known as wood finishing, a process whereby whiskeys are matured in one type of cast, such as ex-bourbon barrels, then transferred to a second cast type, such as ex-sherry or port or rum casks resulting in greater depth and complexity of the final flavor of the whiskey. If you want to know what an MBE is, 
uh, it is, uh, he received his MBE and I didn't, I forgot to, I didn't put that down from Queen Elizabeth II on July 5th for his service to the Scotch whiskey industry. Basically it's like a distinguished um, service award for bringing forth something to arts or the cultural or some stuff like that. So it's like a, it's basically an award that's presented by the Queen of England, the majesty over there. Um, so the nose is reach sweet with creamy toffee on the nose and it combines with fresh fruit notes. So you said toffee. We said it was sweet. Um, I didn't get anything else. I said butterscotch originally. Um, the palate is rounded with vanilla and sweet oak notes with a fruity character that develops with time. Um, the finish is soft and lingering. Uh, what would you like to guess what the price is on this, sir? <sighs> Eighty-five. Uh, eight, eight, nope, sixty-two ninety-nine. Oh, you only gave a four point five. Um, yeah, it was four point five. It wasn't a five. I thought it was a five-two. It was only no. four point five. He gave four point five. So yes, that and was then Rebecca, I, and Rebecca then just revisiting Angel's Envy. I originally, I think, I gave four point five. I want to lower that to a four. What? Paul says that the MBE is a whiskey night. K N I. Oh, a whiskey knight. Paul said it's a whiskey knight. That's what he says. He was knighted, basically. But oh. when I, so that was something similar to that. It was the MBE. I'll, gotcha. I'll look it up maybe next time when I do this, but I'm sure I'll forget because we'll be in another whole episode of that. We'll be nothing knightly about it because we'll just be doing some bourbons that night when we do it the <laughs> next time. Around. Yeah. Uh, we will be so regal. But yes, yeah, so um, so that's it. So sixty two ninety nine for this one. Okay. Which isn't bad at all, I don't think, for what you're getting, you know, from the bottle. Honestly, and so that's oh, for no. seven fifty milliliters. That's amazing. Yeah, that's pretty good. That really is. Yeah, if I find that, I'll definitely buy that again. Well, well buy I'm... it for the first time. Oh, I saw that. Yes, uh, John Baptiste would like to know where Bodie is. <laughs> He's in the other room. <laughs> <laughs> He's in the other room, hiding out. He's hanging out with Michaela, watching from the other room. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's it. They're, they're watching it in, in on volume turned way down low on that one. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So Be jo Becker originally thought you gave it a five too, but it was only a. So we we wanted to know where uh, Dick no, Dupree no. was on that Rick Dupree. So because no. he only thought everything was like mid range that we've ever done is like <laughs> threes all we ever gave out. Yeah, two that's and threes. I'm actually it's funny because like now looking at these, I'd say the Belvini is definitely a four point five. The Fuyu is definitely. A four, four and a quarter, and I'd Ooh. actually bump Angel's Envy down to like a three point five. Actually, wow, knocking yeah. the Angel's Envy down yeah. after trying. It's good that. though; it's really good. Like, yeah, I, well, but, yeah, well, again, but, but now that. thinking about it, I'm like, oh, you know what though? Uh, I don't know if I want that as high as I said it was. So but the scotches, the scotches are right up your alley. That's the whole thing. Yeah. You know, you like those scotches, right. especially these. The space side scotches is big for you. You know what I mean? You really them, so. That's your um, fave. And hi, Uncle John. <laughs> That's hey, John is uncle John. is Michaela's uncle, and then Jack is a uh, her papa. So okay. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> well, there we go. So we got everything down. So that's it, buddy. I think we uh, we crushed it tonight. We we got yeah. it all done. We actually uh we spaced it out enough. So hopefully, you know, we can continue to do these. Let us know in the comments down below. Like and share. Let us know, you know, what you thought. If you know, maybe what you'd like to see on the next live that we do. You know, when we're not doing it with another uh, channel because that's kind of already set. But like when me and Nick do it, maybe there's a whiskey that you'd like to see us review really quick. So let us know down in the comments down below what you'd like to see and if we have it in our collection. If not, I can get it. I know I can. Yeah. Well, most of the time I can if it's not some hard to find one because some people have asked me, have you seen this one? I'm like, oh, man, I had to search high and low for those things. So sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. But for whatever reason, Nick can find stuff that I don't even know. I can't, I've never seen. He pulls these things out. He's like, oh, dude, I found this at my favorite place. So, yeah. Uh, and so that's I have pretty, a secret place I'll never yeah it. I know it is it's like the <laughs> thing it's like that mine's I'm the same way it's like I tell you where I find my bottles I just never tell you that where the place is found this yeah, bottle I, tell you you know, I, got this, I got this but shh, can't tell you because I don't want you to go there you know scooping up my stuff yeah. that I need so give me this <laughs> talking to my peeps can't have that happen <laughs> it's my connection oh, yeah. not yours 
I got. I get. I'm the one that gets the phone calls and say, "Hey, you want this bottle?" You do. You get real phone calls. I, I actually get real phone giving. calls. I get actual phone calls from the liquor store when they tell me that they have a bottle in that you know I may be interested in. Um, you know, he kind of spreads it around. It's not just to me. He's got a few people um, that he does call, but I am called on a regular. You know, he does get. He does reach out to me if he's got an uh, interesting, unusual bottle um, that he thinks I'd be interested in. He does reach out to me all the time, and I usually like. I'm like. Yep, I'll be right down, and I go shoot down, and I go grab it. You know, whenever he calls, because usually it's something that I don't have or I haven't had. Um, so I go down there and I scoop it up because you know he's making the effort and he's reaching out to me. So I definitely go and grab it. Uh, but, uh, you fell for my April Fool Fool's joke. <laughs> what was your Fool's joke? All of these are actually twos. No, the one that I texted <laughs> you earlier today, by the way, that was about the Rip Van Winkle. Oh, I'm like, no. I say, okay, the price. When you said it was around by us, I'm like, where? Where is this? Why are you sitting at home? I would have I know. Them. I would have been, you know me, I would have gone and gotten like 30 bottles of that 10 year if that was the case. But yeah. no, uh, no, somebody shared that. I was following on when I was posting on Instagram and, uh, and I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, this is gold. And I was like, at first I believed it and I sent it to you. Yeah. And then I looked in the comments and somebody said, ha ha, you're hilarious. And I go, ah, uh, uh, yeah. So many, and then I was like, oh, I'm totally going to get Derek now. <laughs> yeah, you, you got me because he, he posted a bottle of old Rip Van Winkle and the uh, 12, it was and, the 10 year uh, and the 12 year. Yeah, Van Winkle 12 year family reserve. And it was like, Fifty nine ninety nine for one bottle and sixty nine ninety nine for the other. Their which retail is price. the retail prices, which is great, but nobody sells them for that. And if they do, it's it's usually in the state and it's the you know state controlled liquor stores where that's what the price. They don't mark it up; they sell it for the retail price what it's supposed to be. So I was like, "Where is this?" And he goes, "Oh, I said, is this somewhere around us?" He goes, "Oh yeah, it's around us." I'm like, and he never sent back. I'm like, "Where? <laughs> where is it?" Because I was going to go shoot out right now and go, like he said, stock up on it. I mean, if you can find it for that price, are you kidding me? Oh, I would yeah. drink that all day. I mean, you yeah. know, I'd still I'd drink it, but I mean, I'm glad I, we got the bottles and uh, we can enjoy it some more because we still have the bottles. Uh, yeah. But, you know, I don't, I can't picture running out again and buying them at the prices that, you know, we had to pay for oh, them. Yeah. You know, I'm glad we get to try it. But, you know, it's like one of those things you try them once and you're like, oh, that was good. You know what I mean? But, you know, to, to go do it again, you'd be like, mm, maybe not. Maybe I won't spend that. Mm, yeah. much. So, but other than that, buddy, I think that's going to wrap it up for us for this live on YouTube and Facebook. So that was awesome. I'm glad both of them went off without a big hitch, I hope. So we'll see in a little while anyway. <laughs> yeah. If it's just nothing but just me and you just sit there like for the whole, yeah, for one hour of no talking whatsoever, or just like garbled just, all just, just staring at each other. Just, uh, and you know, like how it skips and you can. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, let's hope it's uh, not that. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah the hiccups so yeah but everyone thank you so much for watching again comment down yes. below let us know what you'd like to see in the future because we are going to be doing more of these because it looks like this is going to be extended out for quite a while this is looking like they're, they're pushing all this out to like end of may now for quarantining and people not being allowed back to work and so me and nick may not be back in the studio for a while so this will be the only way we're going to be able to get out a message to everyone unless we do like an outside like feet and feet away from each other but you wouldn't be able to see us in the camera because yeah. we'd be so far back yeah, we'd be so far back from each other you wouldn't you know trying to trying to do that so this is the most realistic thing so i mean in reality we could shoot something like really quick on a monday and a friday to get you know different episodes out if that's what it came down to or we'll just you know to one we run out of episodes this may be it but we'll see what happens you know we'll just have to do lives and from there because there's really no other way to do it buddy i I've, I've, I've been thinking racking my head about it i'm like i mean we can do the whole thing like uh bourbon babe can put the blinds together and we can do them blind on blind live um you know we can do that definitely if you put if you put numbers on them actually that's what I it would be it would be numbered and we just do it the same way it would just be a numbered thing so she'd pour them she'd pick them out pour them I wouldn't have any idea. I'd get the same thing. I'd have the little sample bottles, and that's how we do it. So maybe if, the next time, yeah. we, like for me and you, and we do this, maybe we'll do it a blind. We'll do a blind live, which you know would be interesting. I think people would like that a little blind live, you know, to see yeah. exactly how deep in the box we go. And we're just staring at that deep glass. In we're in there just staring at it and getting into it. And when Nick's, you know, taking out like the whole cupboard, smelling everything, going, "I think, I think I'm getting <laughs> paprika. I don't uh, know. <laughs> I think I'm." Dirty shoes on a warm summer's day. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, well, thanks everyone for watching. We're going to wrap this up right now. So, we here's hoping right over that. 
Yeah, yeah, we did. We just zipped it. Zip, choo. We, we, we started no, my it. My comment, my comment was really weird, and you <laughs> stopped right well, over I'm it. Sorry. Would you like to repeat your comment? Because I totally no. missed it. No, nope. I'll tell you another time. I'll, watch it. I'll have to watch yeah. the episode. That's what I have to do. I'll, exactly. I'll just zip to the end and watch the last two minutes of it to see Nick's comment. But then I stepped on him. Sorry about that, buddy. <laughs> but, so, everyone, here's hoping that everyone finds a little bit of luxury and in Nick's every- ordinary life. Um, a little bit. Yay! Cheers. Thanks, everyone. I filled it with Angel's Envy. <laughs> uh...